Does caffeine actually make you play better in Osu game? Well, yes. Caffeine actually does make you play better in Osu, but particularly mainly for speed. We see this with people like Sitho who preaches taking caffeine pills, which is a shit ton of caffeine in them. But I'm going to explain in this video why it works, and I'm going to run an experiment for if it actually works for me personally. So first, we got to explain something called dopamine. So dopamine is a neurotransmitter that's released from your brain, and it's essentially a neurotransmitter responsible for motivation and making you feel good. You might have heard of it before. But basically, what caffeine does is that dopamine gets increased through the usage of caffeine, and it also increases the amount of dopamine receptors. So the dopamine receptors basically are responsible for increasing the limit for how much dopamine you can release at a time. So caffeine is going to increase the amount of Bruh. dopamine that's going to be able to come out. Essentially, caffeine is pretty good for increasing your dopamine, and that means you're going to be more motivated to play the game, and you're also going to be more motivated to be a lot more jittery in movement. And we're going to explain a bit more why. All right, so this could be an explanation on the neuroscience level for why caffeine oh does God. make you jittery. But basically, there is a neurotransmitter called adenosine. It basically promotes you to be relaxed and more sleep. So basically, you're just going to be chilled out. But caffeine is an adenosine receptor antagonist, which means it suppresses the effects of adenosine. So you're going to suppress your promotion of relaxation and sleep. And by doing that, it instead promotes the release of dopamine and norepinephrine. So dopamine, as we said, more motivation to do stuff. And then norepinephrine is another name for adrenaline. And that basically is going to make you more nervous. That could explain why you're more nervous while you're playing with caffeine, like more nerves and shit, because of the increased effects of norepinephrine as you're going to be blocking adenosine. So this is going to essentially heighten like your nerves throughout your body and it's going to heighten the central nervous system so your whole nervous system is basically more stimulated through the effects of caffeine blocking adenosine which is essentially the neurotransmitter that allows you to chill out so without that anymore you're going to be all over the place and might be a bit jittery for me personally i was jittery and all over the place which means that i got a shit ton of dopamine and norepinephrine being released after i took all that caffeine so that is an explanation for what's happening on the actual neuromuscular level but anyways this sounds great in theory right dopamine is going to make you more jittery and also going to make you more faster with your fingers and it's also going to make you more motivated to play the game at more fc maps and i did cover dopamine in a more full and thorough explanation on this video right here in the card and it's a video on how to fc more maps but we're not going to talk about that specifically today we're just talking about caffeine so this all sounds great in theory right taking caffeine is going to increase dopamine for motivation where motivation means you're going to be more motivated to fc maps and you're going to be more fast because of all the speed and the jitteriness right that's cool and all right but what about the caffeine sources so caffeine sources that you can take so there's mainly coffee sherba mate and caffeine pills i personally take the sherba mate because i don't got no coffee at home and i don't got no caffeine pills and the sherba mate is like an argentinian like sort of herbal tea drink really good for your energy i'm going to show you guys me taking it and see if it actually works in practicality so first i boiled some water into this little container and then we got the sherba this is the actual herbal part and we put it in the mate it's like this part with the straw it got this weird filter straw and it kind of looked like a coconut shell but we're going to put the sherba inside and like kind of tilt it and then we just basically pour some warm water i did put some boiling water and it tasted really fucking bitter so we drink that and it's going to give you caffeine and basically in this experiment here i got about 300 to 400 milligrams of caffeine in my system that's really insane right that's about four cups of coffee or something like that and we played through osu with this if you guys want to try out this sherba mate thing you can look it in the description i put some links for the actual mate cup in a yerba but if you do look for a sherba there is an unsmoked and a smoked version the smoked version can actually give you carcinogens which give you cancer so the unsmoked one is the one that i'm using and i'll put it in the description below if you want to try it out but anyways we did try this out with the caffeine in the osu session from my experience in the osu session i was really fast but I was also super dirty later on in the session because I was drinking the Sherba Mate during the whole session and my caffeine was just going up and up and up. And I was getting more shaky and shaky, shaky. And it eventually got to a point where I was like at 300 milligrams of caffeine and I was literally shaking all over the place, dude. It was really fucking unbearable. So I think the main takeaway of this is that yes, caffeine will make you faster in speed because I felt like I was a little faster. It wasn't by a lot because I felt like I was in a pretty decent space in my speed anyways, but it actually made me really jittery like my aim and I did not have any aim control and i could not play the game anymore because i was just cannot control my aim at all so i think the main take of this is this, yes caffeine is going to make you more speedy and more shaky so i think you probably want to take a little bit of caffeine not that much in order to avoid getting shaky so the conclusion of this video is that yes caffeine increases your dopamine and makes you faster from my experience and a lot of other people's experience like sit though but it's going to make you really shaky and i am on mouse and the shakiness doesn't really necessarily show on that but if you're on tablet you're going to be shaking all over the place it's going to be really hard but my whole time while i'm playing this session i just want to get up and move because osu is not really exactly a game where you can necessarily go all the way over the place right the only thing that's going to be moving all up in there is like your fingers when you're playing speed so that's probably why it's really good for speed but for other places i wouldn't really recommend caffeine like if you're going to play jumps or just regular stream maps caffeine is probably not that great for 
effort because it's gonna make you super shaky and shit i would not really recommend it if you're gonna take caffeine maybe a little bit but not that much because i did take about 340 milligrams i don't usually take caffeine so my caffeine sensitivity might be like super high so that could be why i'm really shaky but yeah so the conclusion of this is the caffeine increases your dopamine makes you more motivated to play osu and it's going to make you really jittery and a bit faster i would recommend for speed maybe a little bit but for other types of game modes i wouldn't really recommend it because you're going to get really shaky but anyways a zero cost way to support the channel is to subscribe to it and share it to a friend that might be interested in it and you guys can also go on my discord server discord server in the link below we got weekly multis in my community and might make a friend there all that cool stuff so yeah that's pretty much it see ya